Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno right now, taking a hands on look at the just announced Samsung Galaxy Note 3 here at the Samsung Presser in New York City. And this is the latest Note, Note device out there, smartphone, and has some improvements over its predecessor. But for the most part, it just remains basically the same. Uh, you see all the improvements in terms of the hardware, um, the thin, the thin profile, the design of the handset. But aside from that, it's the same old Note, Note smartphone that we know and love. So first of all, let's talk about the design. So with this latest version, uh, they made improvements, in making it lighter and even thinner than its predecessor. And honestly, it is thin. It has a little bit of, an, uh, of sophisticated look thanks to the silver trim bezel. It kind of looks like a stretched out Samsung Galaxy S4, as you can take a look, which is uh, most notable for the uh, recessed home button beneath. But doesn't really try to move outside the box uh, from what, what they're usually comfortable comfortable uh, using with the Note series. However, there is a slight difference. It's still plastic at its core, and we definitely notice that. A little bit of a hollowness right there in the middle, uh, but the back has this uh, textured, uh, almost leather-like uh, material to it. Instead of being glossy uh, plastic from before, it has a very nice stitch pattern to it around the edges. Again, giving that sophisticated look. Um, and that's the biggest difference that we see with the design. Aside from that, it's still a beefy, massive phone. If you have smaller hands, of course, uh, it requires just two-handed operation at that point. It's just pretty wide still, uh, but still, uh, it still has some, you know, nice improvements in terms of the bezels. They kind of minimize, it looks like they minimize it. So um, it doesn't really look or feel as large as the uh, Note 2. So if we take a look around the handset's trim, we have all the usual suspects. We have the volume control on the sides, raise a little bit, good response feel when you press it down. Towards the bottom, you have the micro USB port for charging data connectivity, and we're gonna assume right here, it's gonna feature a video out with the aid of an MHL adapter. You have the microphone right there, and you can tell towards the back here, the slot is there for the S Pen. It just hides away, which is, again, a very nice thing, so you don't lose that pen when you're not using it. On the right edge, you have dedicated power button, slim, you know, kind of thin, but still very prominent and has a good responsive feel. And on the top, it looks like you have a three and a half millimeter headset jack. You have a uh, noise cancellation microphone, and finally an IR blaster, which of course, again, something a staple with Samsung's devices. And of course, being a part of the Galaxy series, you have the recess home button right below the display, surrounded by the capacitive menu and back keys. Nothing really different out there. Meanwhile, on top, you have your earpiece, you have your light and proximity sensors and a front-facing camera for video chat self-portraits. Interestingly enough, they don't really follow the Samsung Galaxy S4. It's a totally different handset, of course. It doesn't feature uh, you know, an IR port on the front, so you can do all those air gestures. That's something that this particular handset does not do. Being the latest Note smartphone, the Note 3 features a 5.7-inch 1080p Full HD uh, Super AMOLED display. And of course, uh, right now I have it kind of dim, so you can kind of see in the video the kind of colors it produces. Good detail, very crisp looking, and even when we set it to its highest brightness setting, it has a nice glow, really stands out when you're in a dark room. And being an AMOLED panel, it has all the typical characteristics of the technology. For example, you have those saturated colors, you have wide view angles, and with black, you can get that deep black color. Um, and again, it has that wow factor when it's in a dark room. But as far as outdoor usage under the sun, you know, it's still an AMOLED panel hard. Who knows, you can't tell right now seeing that we're indoors, but it might be a little bit difficult to view, but aside from that, uh, it's still a very, very nice looking display. Doesn't really break new grounds per se. Here's the new S Pen that comes included with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Like I said before, it tucks away towards the bottom edge of the handset, so it's discreet and you're not gonna lose it. Um, for the most part, it doesn't look, look, look any different. You still have the button here, which you could use to hold down. You could take a screenshot and you have the nub right there, which you could use to do different air view features, so you could preview different things, which is nice. And the feel, it's still plasticky, um, almost has a pencil shape to it, so it's very, very comfortable to hold. Um, and it's just nice, again, just that um, it has some new features, which I'll go through in a little bit. Like I said, there's some new S, S Pen base features that are exclusive to the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 here. And I'm gonna quickly show you them. So, of course, you can do all the air, air view features, so you can just hover the uh, stylus, the uh, S Pen, anywhere on the screen. But another thing that they've added here if you hover over you see the dot right there so you can see it's hovering you press the button on the S Pen itself it's going to give us some access some some additional functionality from here we could either go into the action memo scrapbook screen write S Finder or even pen window so let's check a look at each one so pen window we could draw basically a square 
anywhere on the screen. And from here, Flip's gonna allow us to access some of the, uh, some of the uh, core applications that allow for multitasking. So for example, you can do calculator, and it puts it up in that view, so it could have quick access, and again, layers it on top of whatever we do. Um, so if we're in the web browser, we're, we're doing something else, taking a memo, we can access things like, uh, like the uh, calculator right there. So real quick again, you hover the pen, you tap the button on the S Pen cell, go to pen view. Now I could just make a box, and from here, let's say I want to access my contacts from there. And you have it just like that. Just another way of multitasking. So if we flip the Galaxy Note 3 to the back, it actually features a beefy 13 megapixel autofocus camera, which features smart stabilization and a high CRI LED flash. The build shoot 1080p videos, um, so it's pretty much in line to what we see already at the Galaxy S4. And like I said, it's just a new choice of materials in the back, which is drastic, a little bit of a drastic change from Samsung. Uh, it has an almost leather-like feel to it. Good job maintaining clean finish. And you can see the stitching throughout the sides here. Again, giving the handset an overall elegant look and sophisticated look as well. As for the internal hardware, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is powered either, depending on your market, a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core processor, I'm assuming the the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 or a 1.9 gigahertz octa-core processor and I believe it has three gigabytes of RAM. As far as storage is concerned, it's gonna have 30, it's gonna be available in both 32 and 64 gigabyte capacities, but as always, the great thing about it, it features a micro SD card slot so you can supplement that towel if you want. So it's really hard to say which version of the Galaxy Note 3 we're using here, whether it's the octa-core one or the quad-core Snapdragon 800 one, but Regardless of that, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job just doing some normal operations. You could tell some basic things, handles it quite well. We don't see that much, we don't see, we barely see any lag. You could tell how responsive it is with, uh, with different gestures. Pretty quick. Let's take a look at something a little bit more processor intensive. So let's change the wallpaper to, let's say, a live wallpaper real quick. See how it performs then. So nothing really, it's the usual stock, stock ones that come with most Android devices. And you can see here, pretty good job still. It seems very quick, very fluid. We don't see any jittery movement whatsoever. And just like I said, other basic operations, it pretty much manages uh, effortlessly with its performance. Based on the uh, home screen here, obviously it's running Touch with Nature UX from Samsung on top of Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. And uh, it doesn't really deviate from the presentation style of the other handsets running the same pl uh, platform experience. But there are a few key ones that are exclusive to the Note 3. For example, all the new S Pen features. Now with the S Pen, of course, if you're into note taking, if you're a business user, you're gonna really appreciate just because it offers a lot of features uh, in the palm of your hand. Now with this, it doesn't have any of the air gestures that we saw with the Galaxy S4, so you can't wave over the display to track forward, track reverse, or even scroll up and down with different gestures. Instead, you're gonna rely heavily on just using the S Pen to take a lot of notes. Um, and aside from that, um, it just seems like there's just a ton of features with the S Pen. It seems a little bit too extensive, to tell you the truth, and also a little bit, a little bit confusing at the same time. But if you love, uh, you know, organization applications, the S Pen Memo app, all that stuff, jotting that notes, drawing. Of course, it's gonna gravitate towards you, but if you really don't need those features, you'll just find it a little bit pointless. All right, guys, that's it for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. As I've said, not really a whole lot different with the design. Of course, the key thing here is just that new choice of material in the back, give it a sophisticated look. But for the most part, it sees the normal boost in specs in the, in the uh, hardware. Um, and aside from that, uh, nothing really innovative per se will we'll tell you right here. It's just the iterative, iterative uh, update we'd all expect. Uh, hopefully we'll see more down the road. But for right now, uh, the handset's gonna launch uh, starting on September 25th. No word yet on pricing, but we're gonna assume here that's gonna come out to all the major carriers here in the US. So if you wanna learn more about the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, guys, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V, thanks for watching.